evaluate the integral here, and then we'll check it by differentiating again. So in this case, it's just easier to divide through everything by x to the fourth. And when we do that, when you have an exponent on the bottom of the same base, you just subtract from the exponent on the top. So this is going to be the same thing as the integral of x raised to the 1, or just x, plus 2x raised to the negative 2, minus x raised to the negative 4. So we integrate this, we get x squared over 2, plus 2 x raised to the negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 plus 1, minus x raised to the negative 4, add 1 to, to that. So what we're going to end up with here is just, well, we already got this, so 1 half x squared uh, minus, negative 1, so that just becomes minus 2, and this is just x raised to the negative 1. And, you know, the negative exponent can be put on the bottom to become a positive exponent. And then finally, um, plus, because the negative down here this ends up being one-third, x raised to the negative 3, and then plus c. And if we want to write this in positive exponents, All right, so um, anyway, that's the final result. So this is the solution, but we want to go ahead and differentiate it. So all that is, it's easier to differentiate the exponents that are in a num numerator. So it's just going to end up being uh, two, two x. So one half times two x is just x, and then the negative one. So that becomes a negative two. So po positive. 2x raised to the negative 2, and then minus the 1 third cancels out the negative 3, so minus x raised to the negative 4th. I mean, I could just copy what I had here, <laughs> but anyway, my point is, is it's correct. So, all right, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching, and you have yourself a great day.